and Lauren, and I know it's a massive cliche to be like, mm, it's nice to be here, but it is. It's nice to be here because this is my one year anniversary of moving to London. Yeah. Thank you. I moved here to do comedy full time. I lived in Newcastle and I was like, right, I want to be a comedian. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to be. I'm going to go to London. I'm going to go full time. It's what I'm going to do. I'm young, ambitious. I'm going to go full time. So I came here a year ago and I don't want to brag because I want you to like it, but within six weeks I'd gone full time. Yeah. Like you in boots, but um, still. <laughs> I had a long-term boyfriend when I moved to London and I left him up north and he went, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. That's a lie, isn't it? <laughs> Absence didn't make his heart grow fonder. Absence just made his dick wander. That's all that happened then. <laughs> I'm young. I'm having the time of my life. I'm in a new city. This is an exciting time for me. I'm not going to be sad. I am not. I'm going to get straight on the dating apps because I'm quite shy, quite awkward. I'm going to get myself out there, meet some new people. I have never felt so empowered using dating apps because I didn't used to get a lot of attention when I was younger. And for the first time, 23-year-old adult, I can sit there and I can decide I'm too good for someone. <laughs> I can decide that I'm too attractive for someone can decide that someone's not worth 60 seconds of my time. And I can make all these decisions while I'm having a shit. I have never, <laughs> never felt more like a goddess. 